A two-time Walter Camp Player of the Year Award winner, Colt McCoy headed off to the NFL with what was then an NCAA record 45 career victories as a starting quarterback. At the end of his four years, McCoy owned essentially every major passing record in school history. In his final season, McCoy led the Longhorns to a 12-0 record, a Big 12 title, and an appearance in the BCS Championship game. One of college football's greatest linebackers to ever play, Tommy Nobis is one of the rare defensive players to win the Maxwell Award as the nation's top player in 1965. In 1963, Nobis was a defensive stalwart that helped lead Texas to their first national title. The number one overall pick in the 1966 NFL Draft, Nobis is the only defensive player in school history to have his number 60 retired. By the end of his college career, Ricky Williams was the most decorated running back that the college game had ever seen. He held the career rushing yardage record, the career touchdown record, and tied the record for most games with over 200 yards rushing. Sometimes referred to as the Texas Tornado, Williams took home the Heisman in 1998 and immortalized himself in Texas and college football lore. Mention fourth and five to any Texas fan and watch the goosebumps spread. When Vince Young crossed the goal line to clinch a 41-38 victory over USC in the 2005 National Championship, he completed perhaps the greatest championship game performance in any sport. Young was 30-2 as a starting quarterback for the Longhorns and is in the conversation as the most dominant collegiate player of his era. There were great ones on the 40 acres before Earl Campbell arrived and plenty of legends who followed him. With that said, few elite players across any program have created the kind of lasting impact of Campbell. The school's first Heisman Trophy winner, his rare blend of power and speed set the table for the long line of runners in his mold who dominated college football in the 1980s.